Hey everyone, today I am filming my May favorites. It is the last day of May, so I can officially say what things, objects, products, etc. I have been enjoying this month. And we're gonna just go ahead and get started right away with my favorite people. <laughs> so I have a couple of YouTubers that I wanted to talk about as well as a Twitch streamer. So for YouTube, my current faves, uh, my first would be Linnea Kelsey. She is a vlogger just like myself. She is Canadian, which is super fun to see just the slight differences in culture and she's just so down to earth. I just like seeing what her daily life is like. We have a couple of things in common. You know, she's young, she doesn't have kids. <laughs> I feel like so many daily vloggers, they have kids nowadays. And she loves her Starbucks, just like me. <laughs> My second YouTuber that I've really been enjoying recently is Amy Lynn Thompson. And I found her through my love of Lush. <laughs> so she's not really a vlogger. She puts out more um, specialized content. She does a lot of hauls, beauty videos, decluttering, things like that. So if you like a more structured, down to the point type of video, really good to watch. She's also younger and she's getting married soon. So it's been really cool seeing her process, getting into that, that super, busy kind of experience. And the last person I want to talk about is a Twitch streamer and that is Vina Mae. I've been watching her for over a year now and she mostly streams like variety content. So I fell in love with her because of her Animal Crossing content because that is one of my all time favorite games. But um, she's a really real. <laughs> she doesn't put on a show or an act. She's gone through the whole YouTube gamut and now she's on Twitch. She's just so fun to talk to, so hilarious. Her humor is like on point. I also enjoy her creative streams. She's super into like planning and planner decorating just like I am. So I can relate to her so much. And just like with me, YouTube, Twitch, etc. is not her full-time job. She has shit going on behind the scenes. She has her full-time job. She has a young kid. She's just trying to make it work, get in her game, and it's so cool to see. Um, so she does not have a regular streaming schedule, so I cannot tell you, you know, when to hop on and see her, but I will say you should go ahead and go on Twitch, search Vina Mae, and go ahead and give her a follow, and then you can just see on your following list when she comes up alive. All right now I want to talk about the few beauty, fashion-y items that, that I have to talk about today. So as you guys know, I am not any sort of beauty guru of any sort, right? I rarely wear any makeup at all, but I have been in the perfume game this month. So I have two perfumes that I wanted to talk about. The first is a Victoria's Secret Rollerball perfume, and this is called Tease, and you get a pretty nice size here, and I think the packaging is like super adorable. So I got this on sale for $10, so it was super worth it, and I just like roll it on a little bit. I don't know how to describe the scent, I can never describe smells unless they literally smell like something else. It is not, it's not really floral, it's more of a fresh scent, I would say, because I really hate floral perfumes. <laughs> so I really have no idea how to describe this, but I'm sure it's in like pretty much every Victoria's Secret store. It's like one of their main line products. But I've just been loving it and boyfriend loves it too. He can tell whenever I'm wearing it. And it's like, oh, you smell so good, Amanda. And I'm like, oh, thank you, I know, okay. The second perfume goes along with one of my other recent obsessions and that is Lush. So this is a solid perfume from Lush and this is Amelie May. And this was a bit more expensive because it's, you know, obviously this is a lot less product than the rollerball appears. This was, I think about $12. 
and this is just for the solid. You can also get the liquids, but they were a little beyond my current budget. So once again, not really sure how to describe this scent, but this is definitely the Lush perfumes are definitely those types of perfumes that adapt to your body. So whatever your body chemistry is like, your natural scents, whatever, <laughs> it can smell different for different people and on different people. So when the Lush employees, when I was trying to decide on a scent, they would, you know, sniff me and see how it smelled. And they're like, wow, that smells so much different on you than it smells on me. Oh, I just love it so much. Um, you can just uh, rub a bit on your finger and then put it on your wrist behind the ear. Huge fan. Um, in the future, especially if I end up getting a new job, I would love to purchase one of the liquid full-size versions. Going on in the beauty-ish theme, I have a new makeup bag, but I've actually been using it as a toiletry shower bag for when I go to the gym, so I can just bring this into the gym shower with me. So I just keep, you know, my shampoo, soaps, razor up in here. But I first saw this bag at the Disney store in Polaris in Columbus and I loved it. It is just um, artist creator sketches of di baby Disney princesses. So um, we have a baby Ariel, a baby Moana, super cute. And I really fell in love with it, but I was not ready to pull the trigger. But I did end up like a month or so later, I went and just bought it off Amazon for like a couple bucks cheaper. So it is so big, fits all my stuff in there. I don't have to like root around. Like I literally keep um, like three different uh, shower soaps, scrubs, gels, whatever, as well as my shampoo, shaver. So much, so many options I keep in here and I saw plenty of room. I had a problem with my old bag and it was just way too small. I had to like cram stuff in there. I felt like my razor was gonna break one day, but this is so much better. It's so much, I'm in love. My big fave for this month is my new bag that I bought. Um, I've always bought like super cheap bags, like bags less than $20, I think, in like every single case. I think the most expensive bag I ever bought was maybe $30. But I've been eyeing um, this Michael Kors bag for a while. I knew I wanted a more bigger tote-like bag, but I was not feeling the price range. So I think the Michael Kors bags are worth it like I don't think obviously they're not high-end in any means but they're a nice mid-range bag that can be that can be affordable for most people especially if they're willing to save a tiny bit but I still was like listen to pay like over $200 for a purse I could not so I went on Poshmark and went and searched up this bag and it was in a few different colors that I like but I settled on this blue and I paid $70 for this and it is like the outside is like new there's like a few small stains on the inside but look at all this space in here like this is what I needed I needed something with some inner pockets with some space my last couple bags have been super small, so I've been really selective about what I put in my bag, but I've been wanting something with more room that I could put a couple work things in. So I've been loving this bag so much. Um, it has some outside pockets. I can do a whole separate what's in my bag video and really review this bag, but I just want to show you guys that this is the bag that I've been carrying and I am obsessed and so happy with my purchase. I greatly, recommend Poshmark if you're wanting to try out like a more expensive thing that you've never bought before because I still think I'd feel weird about spending several hundred dollars on a bag. No judgment for those who do but I am a teacher and I've been really focusing on my savings right now and that was just a not in the budget so <laughs> I bought a used bag and I love it. Next beauty related thing is another Lush product and this is just their charity pot. So this is one of their hand and body lotions 
that if you purchase 100 percent of the proceeds of that purchase goes to a charity that's why it's called charity pot and it is just a really fresh scent like a clean scent um my sister described it it kind of reminds her of a baby powderish scent so it's in that kind of line i would say i was happy to purchase this because of the whole charity aspect but I really 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 do love the scent you can just see it I keep it in my bag and it's like sideways so it kind of all creeps to one side but oh my god I love it um, mm, it just smells like really clean not heavy at all you, a little goes a long way the scent lasts a good amount of time and I can really notice the difference y'all know that I am currently doing a lot of weightlifting and I get my hands get really rough and this lotion has been helping a heck of a lot. I love it so much. Last beauty-ish related fave that I want to talk about is just um, this nail polish by Pure Ice. And it is in the color Love. And it is just a soft baby pink, like a pastel pink. Um, I want to say I love the color. I wanted to talk about the color of the nail polish more than this exact nail polish in particular um if you guys have heard of pure ice it is just mostly sold at like walmart and drugstores and it's just like real cheap nail polish like it does the job and i have no complaints but it's definitely not long lasting but the last time i got gel nails done i got them in a really similar color to this and i was absolutely obsessed you all know i've been loving light pinks and light blues recently that is the 2018 aesthetic and this falls in perfectly so i'm actually going to do my toes probably in this color today because toes last forever like no matter how cheap your nail polish you put on it is it lasts forever on your toes so this is what i'm going to put on it today so i have a couple things to talk about that i can't physically show you one my favorite drink now that it is hot out um, you guys know I've been enjoying the Starbucks Americano over the winter, but my summer drink is the Starbucks cold brew. Oh my god, there's something about the cold brew that gets me so happy. Like, it feels so refreshing. I know there's so much caffeine, <laughs> so it definitely wakes me up. It gets me going. It makes me super productive, but I think it just tastes so delicious, especially since my staple inexpensive Starbucks drink is definitely just an iced coffee with sugar-free vanilla, but whenever I'm willing to splurge a little bit, I go with the cold brew. I don't do any of the fancy stuff in it. I just do a little bit of um, Splenda or whatever put in there just to sweeten it up a little more but it has this great natural sweetness and I love it I want to go buy one today but I, I'm trying to save my money and not do Starbucks all the time but when I go to Starbucks and I want to treat myself I go with the cold brew another thing that I've been obsessed with and this is kind of like householdy but my dishwasher. So we moved in to this apartment pretty much exactly a year ago. We moved in at the end of May, exactly a year ago. And I had not used my dishwasher at all. I grew up doing dishes by hand and I've been doing that, no problem. Hating it sometimes, it's just piling up sometimes, but I always hand washed it and did not even consider using the dishwasher. But then, some of the plumbing under our sink broke like one of the hoses or something it broke and it was leaking like leaking down to the basement so we could not use our sink for over a week well of course we still had dishes to do so i used my dishwasher and it worked so fabulously i think growing up i had terrible experiences with dishwashers like you would go to a friend's house who only used dishwashers and there would be like gunk in the cups and everything looked like it wasn't properly cleaned and it was kind of disgusting. So I just had that negative association with dishwashers in my head. 
but I guess those were just shitty dishwashers that were being used improperly because my dishwasher gets everything squeaky clean every time and it has been just a load off of my chores. I have so much more time. Like I like to really get in there and clean my dishes so I would probably take like half an hour to do my dishes every day. So that is an extra half an hour that I get to use for whatever I want. I've been loving my dishwasher. And how have I been spending that extra half an hour? I have been reading. So I don't have an exact book favorite for you this month, but I did want to talk about um, my Kindle. More specifically, borrowing Kindle books from my local library. So the, my Columbus library has so many options. And I'm actually on, I have a couple books on hold that I'm on the wait list for, but this is amazing. It's actually amazing for a couple of reasons. One, I haven't borrowed books from a library in years. I have been on this mindset that I had to purchase my books and gather a book collection. But as I've mentioned, I have been trying to save money recently, so I have been borrowing books. And I started with the second Game of Thrones book that I've been reading with my friend Whitney. And I borrowed it on my Kindle from the library and I loved it. I didn't feel bad that I wasn't able to put it on my bookshelf afterwards. It felt nice to save money. Plus, you only have like 28 days to read it. So, y'all know I've been trying to read a lot more, but when I'm borrowing a book, I have at least a little bit of pressure on me to finish it within the time limit. So for example, the book that I'm reading right now, The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt, really great book by the way, <laughs> uh, my loan for the book ends in like three days and I still have like 18% to read so I'm gonna have to be sure that I finish the book before then. So at the very minimum I'm reading at least one book a month because I gotta get it finished before it's returned to the library. So I've been loving it, saves money, gives me lots of options, I don't have to leave the house to borrow it, and it makes me read faster. Last set of favorites are just some pieces of music, some songs that I've been kind of listening to on repeat while I'm at the gym. First song favorite is This Is America by Childish Gambino. Love the video as like in <laughs> an English teacher I'm always looking for symbolism and themes and that video is great for dissecting. I love the message of the video. I'm really passionate about um, gun violence in America especially being a teacher like that's so scary right now um, but just with the theme of the video like while there is a lot of important ideas being discussed it's also like really great to move to that you almost forget that there's like real shit that this video is talking about and that's what I get stuck at when I'm at the gym, when I'm just listening to it. So that is my like current recently created music, but y'all know that most of the time I am listening to throwbacks. They're mowing outside. <laughs> I listen to throwbacks most of the time, music that is from my middle school, high school years that just get me into that feeling of childhood, I don't know. I just like listening to throwback music and this is the throwback song that I've been jamming to this month. You don't remember that is sure to get loose by Lil Mama featuring Chris Brown and your boy T-Pain. Those are all of the favorites that I have for you this month. Go ahead and share your favorites down below please. I've been really wanting to try out more makeup, more different things, spread my wings, especially now that I live in Columbus and there are so many more stores close to me that I really want to check out and try products from so if you have any recommendations of things that you've been loving this month, go ahead and share them below. I promise I really will check them out. Subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more and I will see you all next time in one of my weekly vlogs.
Hope you guys had a fantastic month of May and here is for an even better June where we can start to enjoy this great summer weather. Bye everyone. I just like